Hey guys, today I'm unboxing the cheapest A320 motherboard in the Philippines. Let's check it out. I bought this in ECPC for 2,200 pesos. So out of the box, we have the driver, driver CD. There we have it, it's the motherboard. It's pretty basic. and the manual so and that's it guys this is actually an Athlon 200 GE guys check me out This motherboard is bullshit. <laughs> it doesn't support um, Athlon 200G. Buti na lang may Ryzen 1200 ako galing dito sa isang unit na kinuha ko. Tapos buti na lang may 750Ti tayo. So yun, bumana. So tapakita ko sa inyo paano i-update itong motherboard nito. Ganda rin bias niya. Hey guys, it's day 2 of trying to fix this unit. Bale, naabutan na ako ng madaling araw kagabi. Uh, hindi ko siya natapos kasi... Kailangan na installan pa ng Windows 10 yung unit bago ma-update yung BIOS. Kasi, da, bale, binabawi ko na yung sinabi ko kagabi na okay yung BIOS nito kasi wala siyang option to update the BIOS within the BIOS. Kailangan pa talaga na may OS. So, so yeah. I will, update, I will install Windows 10 for the meantime then do the tutorial on how to update the BIOS within windows so see you in a bit guys a few moments later i have finally installed windows so i need to go to the ecs website to get the model of the motherboard okay click the downloads then on the BIOS tab, we have two BIOSes available uh, there and there. So we just need to pick the latest one.
Started to work this motherfucker after a while man ah guys finally guys something's wrong with the BIOS update from the ECS website uh, I got it to work using the Tom's hardware link uh, I will make the video on the next one that I will update hopefully this is this is it uh, it took me some hours to get to, to this it's very annoying but hopefully this is it like come on man <laughs> see you later 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 guys the BIOS finish it took about two minutes to fully finish and hopefully this is it uh, let's try putting the Athlon 200G inside yeah, let's go. Exit. Guys, on the way ako, ibabalik ko tong boards na to sa ECPC, guys. Thankfully, they've approved my return item request. So, I'm gonna be dropping this off LBC. I was planning to return just one board. Yung nasira ko, yung nabrick na motherboard. But, they've told me to return everything. So, hopefully, I get my money back soon, ASAP. I need that money, go. That money. Can I recommend this board? If you plan to go with a first gen Ryzen or a seventh gen A series, seventh gen above A series, and you don't have the budget, then this board is the cheapest one you can get, and it's fine it will run fine but if you plan to use it on a second gen or third gen Ryzen then you're better off with a better board for 500 pesos you can have the Asus Prime or the MSI Pro Max is that it uh, or the Gigabyte E320 which are better brands there's nothing wrong with ECS boards uh, you get what you pay for uh, but I have used them before I have used them before they've been around for a while building and they're known to be building budget boards there's one in our office and it's been running for more than 10 years it's an FM2 system so yeah but as you've seen how hard it is to update the BIOS I don't know if that one board is uh, that one board is the one that's problematic anyway you can try to have the seller pre-update the BIOS for you which I didn't do because I, I thought it would be easy to just for me to just update the BIOS myself I've done 
I've done I've done it before with other boards and I've had no problem. This is the first time that I had a problem with updating the BIOS and that that motherboard doesn't have a backup BIOS. So yeah, if you screwed the the BIOS update then the board is totally unusable this brick unless if you have a hardware flasher this one but I don't have I plan to buy I plan to buy it I plan to buy one but it's a risk like I don't know if it will work anyway so it's better to just return the item thank you as thank you ECPC for processing my request hopefully I get my money back soon thanks peace